Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on how to convert the given boolean expression into sum of mean terms. Okay, in the previous video we are already discussed about what is mean terms and what is max terms, how we are representing the uh, mean terms and how we are representing the max terms. How many number of min terms are possible? How many number of max terms are possible? That we are discussed in the previous video. Please refer that video for better understanding of uh, introduction to min terms and max terms. Now, in this video, we have to solve this example problem. Express the Boolean function a plus b bar c into sum of min terms. Okay. So, given boolean function is a plus b bar c. Observing the given boolean expression, it contains how many number of variables? Three variables. f of a comma b comma c is equal to a plus b bar c. Okay. In that boolean expression, it contains uh, two product terms. So, A is one product term. B bar C is one product term. Okay. Now, consider the first product term A. So, in that one, what are the variables are missing? So, variable B is missing. Variable C is missing. For each variable missing, we have to represent it by 1. Okay. In that first, in the first product, okay, in the first product term, so it miss, it misses two variables that are B and C. For each variable missing, that can be represented by 1. This one for variable B is missing. This one for variable C is missing. Okay. Next one here in the second product term B bar C. Here variable A is missing. So that can be represented by 1. Okay. Next one. So we already know that. So A into 1 is equal to 1. Okay. Next one. Next one. This first one can be represented by the sum of the missing variable and its complement. So, that is B plus B bar. Here missing variable is B. Sum of missing variable and its complement. That is B plus B bar. Next one here. Sum of the missing variable and its complement. C plus C bar. Plus B bar C into missing variable and its complement. Okay, so here we already know that B plus B bar is equal to 1, C plus C bar is equal to 1, A plus A bar is equal to 1. We are already know that these are three formulas. Okay, sum of the variable B and its complement is equal to 1. Sum of the variable C and its complement is equal to 1. Sum of variable A and its complement is equal to 1. Next one here A into. Now we have to multiply this one. B is multiplied with C. B C. B is multiplied with C bar. B C bar. Next B bar is multiplied with C. B bar C. Next B bar is multiplied with C bar. B bar C bar. Okay. Next b bar c into a plus a bar. Okay. Next one. Now, each and every term in the parenthesis that can be multiplied with a. So, a into b c that is a b c plus a into b c bar a b c bar. Next, a into b bar c. So, a b bar c Next one, A is multiplied with B bar C bar, A B bar C bar. Next one, 
A is multiplied with B bar C. A B bar C. Next, A bar is multiplied with B bar C. So that is A bar B bar C. Okay. If any redundant term is there, that can be write only once. Here, A B C occurred only one time. We have to write directly. Next one, A B C bar. A B C bar. This term occurred only once. We have directly write. Next one, A B bar C. Here A B bar C. Here A B bar C. So we can write only one time. Another another term can be ignored. Next one, A B bar C bar. A B bar C bar. Next one, A bar B bar C. Okay. Now here, A means A value is one. B means B value one. C means C value one. Plus A means one. B means one. C bar is nothing but zero. Next one, A one B bar zero. C one. Next A value one. Next B bar means zero. C bar means zero. Next A bar means zero. B bar means zero. C means only one. Okay. So here I am writing A is equal to one. A bar is equal to zero. B is equal to one. B bar is equal to zero. C is equal to one. C bar is equal to zero. Okay, next one here. One one one. That is a uh, min term can be denoted by small m. So m seven triple one equivalent decimal digit is seven. M seven. Next here m six. Here m five. Here m four. Next here this is m one. Okay. So now this can be written in order. So that is M1 plus M4 plus M5 plus M6 plus M7. Okay. Now sum of min terms. This is min term. This is min term. This is min term. This is min term. This is min terms. Okay. Sum of min terms is nothing but canonical SOP or a standard SOP. So main terms can be represented by sigma m of. So here this is a one, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven. Sigma m of one comma four comma five comma six comma seven. Okay, sum of main terms. First main term, fourth main term, fifth main term, sixth main term, and seventh main term. Okay, so this is the uh, description about the example problem on express the Boolean function a plus b bar c into sum of min terms. Okay, so sigma m of one comma four comma five comma six comma seven is the sum of min terms representation for the given problem. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. So, Divya Srinivasa Rao. Thank you.